Hi everybody, it's Adam with HerkValveSurgery.com and we're at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference and I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Eric Roselli, who is the Chief of Adult Cardiac Surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. Hey, Eric, it is great to see you. Always great to see you, man. Now you and I have known each other for a long time. We first met in 1990 at the University of Michigan. Go Blue. Go Blue. And because we've known each other for a lot of our life, we're gonna talk about a very important topic in heart valve disease right now, which is the lifetime management of heart valve disease. Yeah. People are living longer lives. Valve disease, when you have it, correct me if I'm wrong, even to get treated, it can go on for the rest of your life. For sure. And given that you are a specialist there at the Cleveland Clinic, I'm really curious to know, is there anything that you're doing when a first time patient comes to you, needs surgery, when you're in the operating room, are there any techniques that you use that may be advantageous if a patient needs another operation? It really starts in the, in the outpatient clinic, first trying to get a feel for what that patient's desires are, you know, what their concerns are and what their risks are for a reoperation later on. Because regardless of the type of valve that you get, the more functional uh, and the less resistance to flow that the heart has through that space, the better it's going to be for their long-term survival to protect their heart. And actually it also translates to improved durability of those valves. Um, so there's things that we pay attention to do that include details like making the opening bigger to get a bigger valve in. It's more efficient so that it lasts longer and it's um, easier to address later on with another procedure. Maybe being more aggressive about the root so that the coronaries are mobilized in such a way that the person will be amenable to a transcatheter valve later on. Um, or even, even, I guess, sort of more granular details like the way we sew something in with the thought that maybe we'll be back cutting this out so we can simplify the way that we cut it out when we have to kind of re-replace a valve. I think the cool thing is in, in the treating aortic valve disease is that throughout the entire time when I meet a patient through you know, the nitty gritty details of the operating room and even afterward, we can have this lifelong view of what's best for them um, you know, as well as our understanding of what they want and, and what we can provide. Well, Eric, on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, all the patients all over the world, thanks for everything that you are doing at the Cleveland Clinic. And thanks for being here and sharing thanks, all this great information. Always great talking to you and, uh, you know, all the great knowledge you provide patients. Um, I see it, like, personally in the office. I see people come in that um, aren't afraid because they come in prepared from what you provide them beforehand. Really cool. Keep wow. up the good work, man. All right, thanks so uh, much. Keep on ticking, right? Yeah, yeah. this could be the yeah. longest handshake in the history of my I'm life. I'm not letting it go, brother. <laughs> <laughs>